Hello friends, welcome to channel 11. Today I am going to presenting about always encrypted feature in SQL Server. So this feature is designed to protect sensitive data such as uh, we have credit card numbers and national identification number and SSN numbers. So I am going to give some example how to implement this feature in SQL Server and how we are going to insert some data from .NET to SQL Server database tables. For demo purpose, this is the table I am taking. User details. So it has the fields called first name, last name, login ID, user password, and encrypted password. Right now, this table is empty. Let me go and increase the so it doesn't have any rows inside. This is empty. So, to create the encrypted field in a database table columns, we have a feature called uh, we need to right click on a table and we have one. You need to click this one encrypted columns if you click it is going to prompt always encrypted uh, screen so these are these are the different steps so we need to go one by one so we need to click the next so you need to so we need to select which fields we need to go for encrypted so at present i am going to going for encrypted password column so we need to we have different types we have encryption types we have deterministic as well as randomized i am going to de deterministic encryption type and this is auto populated encryption key so once these settings are done we need to go for next and next 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 so it is doing some performance and encryption of operations so this performance starts completed now we need to close so now we can go we can go here and we can check script to as create new editor window so if you see here so it has metadata for my encrypted password field so this is my encryption this is the details i have i have, I have applied for that column encrypted with column encryption key, key. And the encryption type is deterministic. The algorithm is this one 256. So, so it is confirmed that my encryption encrypted password column has has converted to encrypted field. So I have developed for this demo purpose. I have developed on C sharp web application. This is a very simple example. Let me go and see here. I have, I have, I have the three fields: name, last name, and password. So these things I put inside the form view, and I have created one SQL data source. So this is my SQL data source. It is going to connect the database and fetch the user details and fill fill into these columns into this into these fields this is my very simple example and at the same time so i have a button field i will go here and the button field and the click of button so 
I'm going to use this connection SQL connection I'm I have created on command uh, this is my command text so I'm go I'm going to inserting the passwords user pa password as well encrypted values into the database using command text these are the my parameters I created these are the values I am sending passing to the database this is my very simple example and and I will show you the connection string here this is my this is my connection string properties so I think uh, it is very simple example everyone knows about this this is my connection string in web.config this connection string my SQL data source are using and using form using form u I am loading into the I am populating the values and click of the button I am inserting values to database this is my web application let me go on run right now my database is empty we don't have any values present in user details table so form is empty since uh, there is no any data any values in database so I didn't uh, my form is empty so I'm now I'm going to insert the details into the database. So I will go once again and show the code for inserting what values are it is going to inserting. So my encrypted password value is this one, and the user password is this one, and first name is Vasu, last name Dadala, login ID Vasu. This is the values I'm I'm inserting my user data user table go and click this one so I didn't get any exceptions by so so that I can confirm it got succeeded let me go and execute my database so yeah details card inserted successfully so if you see here my encrypted password is plain text so everyone can able to see my password so now so this is sensitive data I, I should encrypt this I should not keep my sensitive data in database like this so for that we have one feature called always encrypted feature in introduced in 2016 in SQL server uh, protect my sensitive data See in 2016 onwards, we have a feature called always encrypt. So using that feature, we can able to encrypt out. So to enable always encrypted feature, we need to go to the table. So here we have one couple of options here. So since if you are, for example, it's we have a we have the production table. So it doesn't implement any encryption, always encrypted feature. So if you want to enable that feature already existing table, we have the one feature called right click and encrypted columns. So we need by using this we can able to encrypt existing data. So I it, this is the screen will appear we need to go next and we need to go pitch field we will go for the encryption, encryption encrypted option so we need to select type of encryption and I am going right now is deterministic and encryption key will be uh, automatically will get created so I am taking this one so master key so no additional configuration is necessary because you are exist i already have an existing key existing key so i am not required no, any additional master key here so this is the one of the option so either we go for powershell or proceed using uh, 
management studio i'm going with ms here this is the summary it will say which so server name what is the database uh, what is the table name what is the encryption key i'm using what is the encryption type so this is the confirmation so once you are fine with this and you can go and finish let me go and see so this is the app before encrypt okay so if you see here it's a it is not it is already it is encrypted encrypted our values this is the column i i enabled so it's it got encrypted here so like this if you want to encrypt existing data in, ta in table using this option we can able to do otherwise we need to while creating the table itself we can able to uh, give the en encryption option while creating the table if, uh, if, you are, if you are trying to create the new table if you want to encrypt any field that time we can able to give give the encrypted option or if you want to encrypt existing table so using this we can able to enable that so right now my table having the encryption enabled so if you want to if you want to uh, you want to read these values from the dot net and if you want to insert from the dot net so i'm going to give the demo how we need we can achieve that application let's see what it will do the so this is my values existing values so it is going to reading this encrypted password value and it is displaying here this is my encrypted password in database and it automatically decrypt and showing here this is the value let me go and delete this row existing row and and so my database empty and let me go and refresh my screen so it, it is empty and let me go and insert one row a new row into the database see so i am going to getting the error it is saying that care is not in in cap incompatible with where care this is one kind of error suppose if you if uh, if your .NET application is not supporting encrypted, so to overcome this exception, in web.config we need we need to enable the this property. Right now it is disabled. I have added this this property saying that column encryption setting enabled. So. So if you want to read encrypted field, if you want to insert and insert a values to encrypted field in database, we have to set this property in our connection string. This is must. We have to we have to provide this. We have to in, we have to provide this um, property in our connect in our connection string. Otherwise, we are we are going to get this error. One more thing you need to observe is let me so i have added let me go and stop and run the same still i am getting this the same error still i am getting the same error so let me go and uh, see how i am inserting so as i see this is the code i have commented and i am directly inserting the values using the command text like this so this is one type of uh, means if we want to insert any value in the encrypted column in database we have to execute using we have to insert using parameters via parameters only we cannot go and directly insert values into the database like this so we have to go via parameter sql parameter that is the reason i am going to i am going to get this uh, error so as i mentioned there is a two checks here one is we have to enable the uh, column encrypted setting enable in our connection string and if you want to insert to values from dot net we have to go via the parameters not using direct insert statements let me go and 
implement this change here. Then I am getting. I have so to avoid this, I change my code using parameter. I am mean setting values. So let me go and run up. So I already running application. Let me go and insert the values. So I didn't get any error. Previously, I am getting this error by implementing that code. And right now, I didn't get any error. Let me go and see the database now. So I'm able to insert the value successfully from the .NET. So two checks I implemented I mentioned here. We need to enable this. Uh, this we need to add the uh, this uh, this property in our connection string. So we have to pass the values we want to insert using parameters only, not directly. We can inserting is not allowed. So this is one of the uh, important thing if you want to insert anything. From .NET to database encrypted column, we have to pass via the SQL parameters. And I hope you get some information. And I will summarize that. To and uh, suppose to uh, encrypt the sensitive data in database, there is a two options. Suppose if you want to creating the table from the scratch, scratchy. We, we, can, uh, we can add our encryption uh, things I will show that code suppose if you want to add the encryption things on existing table using micro um, micro Microsoft management studio we have the option called encryption columns Using it, we can able to enable encryption, uh, always encrypted feature in our database. And next, we need to add the this property or connection string column encryption setting enabled and en connection string. We have to use the SQL parameters to insert data in this always encrypted columns. So I hope you will get some information. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching my video. Please like it, share it and also subscribe my channel for more videos.